I backtested the London breakout strategy and you'll be surprised at the results I got. For a total of 4 weeks, I got a total of 25 trades with 8 wins and 17 losses. With stats like that, we get a win rate of 32% which is very poor in my opinion and this is just trading one pair so if you're trading more than one pair then it's gonna be a disaster for you. But I also backtested another strategy which is quite similar to the London breakout strategy. I backtested it for the same time period of 4 weeks and here's the result I got. There were 16 trades in total with 13 wins and just 3 losses with a win rate of 81%. And I'm going to show you how both strategies work so you'll be the judge of it and choose which strategy makes more sense and which one works better. Stick to the end of the video to find out. So first of all, I'm going to be explaining the London breakout strategies for those that don't know what it is. And I'm going to be through the explanation of the London breakout strategy, you're going to understand how the other, the second strategy works. All right. So first, we're going to have Asian session and then we're going to have London session, which is this box right here. I'm going to make it pink. All right. So what happens is the market consolidates during this session during the Asian session and then coming into the London session, the market will make a breakout, right? So this will be Asian, this will be London session right after the Asian session. You have these breakouts here. All right, so people usually take the breakouts here. So what, what people are told, the videos you see on YouTube, on the internet, this is how they trade it, right? That you should take the breakouts of this range. So you buy here and then they usually tell you to put your stop loss below the range here like this. Right, so you put your stop loss here and then you, you expect the market to continue going upwards like this, right? Some even take the break and retest. And then also the same thing, if it breaks to the downside, you also take it down. So you put your cells here and then you put your stop loss at the middle of the range or inside the range somewhere in there and then you take it down, right? This is how the London breakout strategy works. Also, I think the way some other people trade it is you have this Asian range here like this so what they usually do is they'll just put pending orders here and here at the top and bottom of the range you have pending orders now those pending orders what people expect is if the market consolidates the london session comes to play which is here like this i'm gonna pink, pink this pink right so what they expect is if the market goes to the upside and fix them out at least the uh the get stopped and then the market goes to the downside, it has to continue down. So in the end, they'll have to make money either way, right? So if it breaks up, they make money. If it breaks down, they break, they make money. What usually happens with this is the market will do like this and then enter back in here like this and then continue down. Or it could just end the day in consolidation like this. So they end up taking losses at the buy side and taking losses at the sell side. So now the, the second strategy is, this is how it works. It plays off the it plays off of the uh, London breakout strategy. So now you have your Asian session consolidation here, like this, coming into London session, right? So you're expecting the breakout. But now what you're gonna do is, instead of taking the breakout, you're gonna wait, right? So let's say you have your breakout here like this. What you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be waiting for a certain pattern to show up. For example, the market broke to the upside here. What you're going to wait for is for the market to come back down and go back up there and give you a double top pattern or an M formation. They're the same thing. And then come down like this. And what you're going to be doing is you're not going to be taking this up. You're going to be taking this down. All right. So you're going to be looking for sales somewhere in here like this to take this back down because we know that the market, once it breaks out of this range, it's going to come back down. That is how the concept of the strategy is and then what you usually have is this market to go back down and then give you the same thing here too so you can take this up if you enter somewhere in here right why this works like this is because the way the market is structured the, the market is being manipulated by big banks market makers smart money i don't know if you've heard of that before right and they take the opposite of our trade so their job is to induce us to take the wrong position so that they can hit our stop losses if you look at the asian range after the consolidation and the market breaks out because of how popular this strategy is a lot of people are going to be buying in here so if a lot of people are buying so we because we want to tra trade in line with the market makers we're going to be going against the masses so 
going against the masses is you taking cells here. And the way they form these cells is through these double top and double bottoms, right? So you're going to be taking cells here and going to be taking buys at the low side because of the stop losses of the people are going to be here when they take buys here. And then if they take cells here, the stop losses are going to be just above the range. So what will happen is this, like this, right? And there's, there are other variations of this pattern. Sometimes what will happen is this. If the market still wants to continue in that direction, what they'll do is they'll break out like this. People take buys here. Their stop loss is below the range like this. And then the market will come back in there and then continue back up like this. So this is a variation of the pattern. All right. So all we're going to be taking, we're going to be taking buys here like this. All right. Same thing for the downside. If you have the Asian range like this and then the market consolidates, and then breaks to the downside, it will come back and then continue back down. This, why they come back down like this or why they go back up like this is to hit the stop losses of the people that took the breakouts, right? So the stop losses of people that took the breakouts are going to be here and the stop losses of people that took the breakouts here are going to be here. So they hit the stop loss and they make them move. Let me just show you a couple of examples on the, on the charts. So let's see, where can we get an example? We have a very beautiful example somewhere in here. So you see, the this is the Asian range consolidation, right? So a lot of breakout traders are gonna be taking sales here on the breakouts, right? So what happens? The market breaks out, consolidates, right? For about, let me see, for about four hours, and then market goes where? Goes back up there to hit their stop loss, and then what? Continues down, right? Here's another example. Here we have the Asian range consolidation. So this is the main consolidation. This is the main consolidation. This is this is just like a broker manipulation or something like that. All right. So this is the main consolidation. So people take breakouts. This is the London session. This pink box is the London, London session. So people take breakouts here. Right. Expecting this to continue down. Then what happens? The market goes down and then goes back up. Right. And how does the market go back up? It gives us this W formation here, like this. So your entry would be here, and then you take this up, your stop loss would be below the lows. Here's another example. Breakout traders would be entering buys here. Their stop losses would be where? Here, right? So we, we're gonna be, we're not gonna be taking the buys, we're gonna be taking the sells, right? So you can see this end formation here, or this large double top here, like this. If you change it to a line chart, you can see it clearly. So you will be taking sales and taking this back down. Here's a, here's a beautiful example of what I'm talking about, about the second variation. Here we have the Asian session like this, right? The gray box. And this is the pink box. So this is the low of the Asian session, right? So people will be taking breakouts coming into London. This is London session. People will be taking breakouts here. Or will their stop loss be here? inside the range. What the market does, the market goes back in, hits their stop loss, and then continues down. All right, so the same thing we can see here. We see that the market consolidates, right? This is the low of the Asian range. People take breakouts here. And then where, where would their stop loss be? Their stop loss would be here. What does the market do? The market goes right back in there, hits their stop loss, and then goes in their direction. So we would be taking sales. We will be taking sales here. Right, putting our stop losses in here or here, All right, taking this down while other people are selling here and getting their stop loss hits. We will wait after the stop loss is hit, after the stop loss has been taken out, then we enter our trades and then we we make the move, right? The trades are usually a zero drawdown trade, like the moment you enter, you're in profits immediately, right? So if you want to learn more about this strategy, more in-depth knowledge and understanding of the strategy and how the market moves using this pattern, then click the video on your screen and it should teach you just that. And I will see you on the next one.